911. Do you need police, fire, or medical? Um, maybe both. I'm not sure. There's just someone screaming outside. And is it a male or female? It sounds like a male. And you don't know why? I don't know why. I think they're yelling help, but I don't know. All right, what is your ticket on the lady? There's gunshots. You just heard gunshots? Yes. Racial profiling in Florida by an overzealous neighborhood watch captain, Zimmerman, carrying a legal 9mm gun in the execution of his job. Trayvon Martin, a 17-year-old African-American male, shot and killed on his way to his father's home. My name is Peter Lindsay. I'm with the Answer Coalition. I'd like to welcome you all here. I'm Reverend Eric Lee. Yeah. Of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, Dr. King's organization. Yeah. And it's unfortunate that the fight we engaged in 50 years ago, we're engaging in today. Justice for Trayvon. Yeah. With faith, without works, yeah. Yeah. So these things like this, these rallies that you're seeing all across the country, this is the work that has yeah. to be done. Yes. We pray and we know God will handle what needs to be handled. But these works have to be done. It's so good to see everyone here, not just the young, but the young at heart. Everyone taking a moment to come out and do so. When you are a young boy, a young boy, 140 pounds, and somebody comes up to you and say, what are you doing in this neighborhood? And he asked you, why were you following me? Was he? Was that okay, or is it a crime? Yeah. When they don't call the CSI and have forensics to take out there, because I heard that Zimmerman said that Trayvon fought him. I don't know, but in my heart of hearts, if a stranger was following me, if a stranger told me, what am I doing in this neighborhood? And my mama told me to run for my life or to fight with everything in me. So if Trayvon fought and if he got in one good lick, yeah. then it was okay. And for Zimmerman, it was a crime. Using your gun is a crime. When questioned by the police, he stated he had been attacked and shot Trayvon in self-defense. Police did not arrest Zimmerman. The kind of profiling that is really discrimination based on pres invalid presumptions. I'm presuming that he doesn't have any business walking between those rows of town halls, those townhouses, and therefore uh, I, I get to follow him with a gun. With, we're talking about Trayvon Martin, the case of Trayvon Martin in Sanford, Florida, which has sparked protests and re-examining the profiling and racial issues nationwide. We're also talking about how it impacts us here and what we can do. And I want to ask um, uh, Robert Grace just quickly, because we're in our, our moments here, what should be happening next with Trayvon Martin? We've seen a smear campaign started in the media, uh, you know, against Trayvon, a, a dead child, uh, and, we, and we have seen the family coming out, kind of the family of Zimmerman coming out the press and seemingly trying their case in the media. But then we seem to take from the police station, which doesn't seem to show Zimmerman with any blood or any injuries or anything, any way. And so it seems like anything in the media, what should be happening next as we, as we dial back and let justice take its course? What should we be looking for? What you want to look for is uh, a complete investigation, as I said earlier. So that means as Connie Rice alluded to, dialing back a little bit and let the politicism die down because you don't want witnesses tailoring what they have to say based upon what they've been hearing in the news media. So, for example, you don't want witnesses saying, well, I saw uh, Martin on top of Zimmerman because they've been hearing in the, the media that we've got to set up a situation where Zimmerman had a right to do what he did. Because he's claiming self-defense, or it seems that that's what he's Right. And, and Connie Rice alluded to this earlier. The Florida law doesn't say that you can be the aggressor 
and take advantage of this stay on your ground law. Everybody should know that. In the, in the 22 states that have this particular law, nobody said, none of those laws say that you can go after somebody with a gun and then claim self-defense. You can't do that. Los Angeles, we must continue to fight against racial profiling. We must do more than have the talk with our young men. We must continue to fight to change the system. It's an issue of wrong versus right. Murdering a young, innocent boy of 17 years of age that only had Skittles, a soda, and a cell phone running for his life. It is unacceptable. The right and the wrong of it. Whether you be black, Latino, Asian, Native American, or white, it's wrong. It's about the wrongness of it. People making the assumptions is unacceptable. Trying to divide our nation, trying to make it a black or white thing. Racial profiling is wrong. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Words are powerful, inciting hate, inciting negativity. The truth is this young boy caused no harm to this man. He was profiled. Until this nation as a whole has consequences for people doing wrong, these things will continue to happen. We cannot allow our children to be gunned down and the perpetrator to walk free. We must support the family of Trayvon Martin in their quest for justice. Justice for Trayvon Martin is justice for all black boys in America. From Radio Free 102.3 KJLH.